buried in it. Well, this was a woman, sir. Rest her soul. She's dead. How absolute the knave is. We must speak by the card, or equivation will undo us. By the Lord, Horatio, his three years I took a note of it. The aged drones were picked at the toe of the peasant comes to the near. The heel of the courtier, he calls his kibe. How, how, how hast thou been the grave maker? All of the days in the year. I come to it the day that our last king, Hamlet, overcame Fortinbras. How long is that since? Cannot you tell that? Every fool can tell that! It was the very day that young Hamlet was born. He that is mad and sent into England. Aye, Mary, why was he sent to England? Why? Because he was mad. He shall recover his wits there, or if he do not, tis no great matter there. Why? Tis not be seen of him there. There, the man are as mad as he. How came he mad? Very strangely, they say. How strangely? Faith, even with losing his wits. Upon what ground? Why, here in Denmark. It's been six in, I've been six in here, man and boy, thirty years. How long will the man lying in the earth here he rot? Faith, if he not, if he be not rotten before he die, as we have many pocky horses nowadays that will scarce hold the lying in, he will last you some eight year or nine year. A tanner will last you nine year. Why he more than another? Why, sir, his hide is so tanned with his trade that he will keep out of water a great while, and your water is a sore to care for your husband, horse and dead body. Here's a skull now hath lain in your earth three and twenty years. Whose was it? A horseman, mad fellow it was. Whose do you think it was? Nay, I know not. A pestilence on him for a r mad rogue. He poured a flagon of rubbish on my head once. The same skull, sir, was Sir Yorick's, the king's gesture. This? Even this. Let me see. Alas, for York, I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest of most excellent fancy. He hath bore me on his back a thousand times, and now he abhorred, in my imagination it is. My gorge rises at it. Here, hung, those lips that I have kissed I know not of. Where be your guides now, your gambols, your songs, your flashes of merriment, that were wont to set the table on a roar? Not one now to mock your own grinning, tight chaplain. Now get you to my lady's chamber and tell her. Let her pate an inch thick to this favor she must come. Make her laugh at thee. Prissy, Horatio, tell me one thing. What's that, my lord? Don't you think Alexander looked o' this fashion in the earth? Even so. And smelt so, ha. Even so, my lord. To what base uses we may return, Horatio? Why not? Why may not imagine trace the noble dust of Alexander till he find it stopping a bunghole? Where to consider too curiously to consider so? No, faith, not a jot, but to follow him thither, with modesty enough and likelihood to lead it, as thus. Alexander died. Alexander was buried. Alexander returned to dust. The dust is earth. Of earth we make loam, and why not of that loam where our people was converted might they not stop a beer barrel? And pre Caesar dead, and turned to clay might stop a hole to keep the wind away. Oh, that the earth which kept it in the world and all should patch a wall to expel the winter's flaw.